What's up everybody, Isaac here with Civil Engineering Academy jumping on real quick to do a little bit of a book review. Today we're talking about this bad boy which is the PE Civil Exam Review Guide covering just the breadth exam right there. Um, this is put out by the School of PE. Uh, where am I? Right here. School of PE. And they've recently got into um, the review manual, I guess, mode. And so I wanted to do a quick review of this. So uh, this is kind of a, a neat book. It's, it's a newcomer into the world of studying for the civil PE exam. Now, School of PE has always been around uh, helping engineers prepare for the PE exam, and they've done a great job at that. But this book, again, is brand new, and so we wanted to talk about it real quick, and I can give you my own opinions about it as, uh, you know, if you're looking for review material out there, I'm sure you're going to come across this thing. So, um, just looking through it, this is kind of a, a, it's a nice book. It's put together again by the School of PE, and uh, there's actually quite a few engineers that contributed to this book. It's not done by one particular author. Um, they've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different authors with different contributors that um, have pieced this together. And this is the very first edition of the book. So pretty sweet stuff here. Um, and I just wanted to talk about it with you uh, and kind of give you some of the details of it. What I like about this book is that it's broken up into chapters uh, that follow the NCES specifications. So if you're looking for something that just follows exactly what the NCES puts out, uh, this, is, this is something that's nice to follow along with as opposed to the Civil Engineering Reference Manual, which is a ton of material in a book that's very, very thick. In fact, uh, I'm going to go get that real quick. All right, here is what the Civil Engineering Reference Manual is as compared to the new PE Civil Exam Review Guide. Breadth is the title of this book. So you can see it's quite a bit thicker. There is each one. Hopefully I can get that for you. Boom, boom. And uh, boom, boom. So, it, I mean, the CIRM is definitely going to get you more material, obviously. And so it covers more of the breadth and the depth material. But this, is again, is specifically for your depth section, which is not bad at all. And they will be releasing later on another well more books that cover your depth module so that's kind of nice too but as they have it it's just for your breath what's nice about the book is you can see that each um, topic each chapter is actually color coded so it's already kind of tabbed for you you don't really have to worry about that as you're thumbing through this guy you can see those tabs and which is nice so if you want to flip to project planning boom there it is you want to switch to means and methods bam there it is um, some of the other stuff that I really like about this book because I just it's just professionally done you know it tells you what you're gonna get paragraphs are nice and easy to understand um, they have nice diagrams in here that use color uh, as opposed to the CIRM that is all black and white and then on top of that just looking through it they give a ton of different uh, example problems so if you're looking for good example problems at the end of every concept, they do give quite a few of those after each concept. So you can see, you no know, nice graphics and stuff. Now the other thing that you'll see in here are these, these uh, total AR codes is what they call them. And these AR codes are broken into different categories. Let me just go there real quick. So you have these different icons, these AR codes. And the thing about these codes is they do different things for you. There's a host of them that are free. There's four of them that actually are for paid content. So uh, they kind of unlock some things if you're struggling to study for the PE and you want to unlock questions for subject matter experts. So the authors that wrote those sections, you can scan this code with an app and it will allow you to ask a question or uh, one of them is for video lectures, another is for tutoring. You can scan this TAR code is what it's called. And you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one tutoring with the, the School of PE instructor. So it kind of unlocks the doors to more content uh, should you need it, which is, you know, that's kind of cool. 
and uh, another one that's paid content is video lectures so you can scan that and it'll unlock um, if you pay for it uh, you get video lectures through the school of PE the free ones um, just going through those real quick uh, you have an AR list that's on here and I'm just gonna read some of these for you but you can scan this code you get a list of AR content in the book so that's all the codes that you have here you have an errata list if you scan it. You can provide feedback on some of these. You can get flashcards to review important terms. You can scan certain codes and it takes you to an NCES link. Uh, you can meet the author. You can do quizzes. You can do a search. Uh, you can scan this code and that search is a dynamic index to find content in the book. And there's another that you can scan and it gives you a unit conversion. Uh, tool so pretty sweet stuff it's extra stuff like I said that they give you it's kind of a modernized fill for the exam using an app to help you study um, you know for the civil PE exam so that's kind of cool uh, just to read quickly what the back of the book tells you it says that the school of PE's new uh, PE civil exam review guide breadth is the definitive resource you need to prepare and pass the breadth portion of the civil PE exam. School of PE's highly acclaimed instructors collaborated to create an inclusive yet concise guide offering an array of expertise. This guide offers the crucial knowledge you need to prepare the breadth portion of the civil PE exam. A streamlined approach allows you to make the most of your study time by focusing on understanding the necessary content. The review guide transforms the complex breadth subjects from the NCES PE civil exam specs into logical, easy to understand segments. Uh, this uh, study uh, is uh, a review guide which includes comprehensive appendices, uh, civil engineering definitions, and examples and to prepare for the exam very confidently. The text comes to life with innovative augmented reality or AR features, which enhance your ability to navigate, comprehend, and retain key concepts. This review guide provides the tools necessary for success, including mobile quizzes, flashcards, and 3D animations, making challenging topics easier to understand with added features such as colored tabs, generous margins for notes, and navigational tools. This is your must have reference for the exam day. So, uh, you know, there's a lot said there. And like I said, with all the tools that they give you by scanning the codes, it's kind of a modern take on studying. Uh, just to continue here, School of PE also recognizes that each examinee, examinee has his or her own studying style and may need additional resources when preparing for the exam to help accommodate these varying styles. Premium content is available for each chapter, including lecture videos, the ability to ask questions, live online tutoring. Uh, you just scan the code and boom, you get it. So what you get as part of this book is you get uh, the exam review for the breadth portion covering project planning, means and methods, soil mechanics, structural mechanics, hydraulics and hydrology, geomet geometrics, uh, materials and site development. Like I said, it follows the exact same specifications uh, from NCES. You get exam tips uh, from former students and exam day readiness, uh, engineering economics supplement, and numerous useful appendices, and then this AR content. So, guys, that's the book from the School of PE. If I could list some of the pros, I do like the tabs that are in here. I like that things are colored in here. The graphics are colored. They're not all black and white, so you get some nice colored content in here it just kind of feels professional and it's definitely more concise in that it is just for the civil PE uh, AM portion of the exam so uh, that's the thing that I guess the only thing that I don't like is that some of the things some of the codes I tried like try to meet the author they didn't work for me and I don't know if it's just a new edition of the book I'm sure that will be fixed but that didn't quite work for me and then uh, just my only comment is you know, uh, every book should have a decent appendix, but when you're learning a new book, um, obviously the Civil Engineering Reference Manual has been the go-to resource for such a long time, but this is a good, good book. Um, the appendix, though, you're going to have to learn a new appendix, and uh, for me, when I studied, I just wanted to learn 
one book and have one good reference manual. So whether it's this one or, or the CIRM, I just wanted to learn that. So in, you know, in my own studies, I learned, uh, t tried to really nail down the CIRM because that's the book I wanted to take with me. But just as a good, you know, book that's going to help you study, it's, it's still got good stuff in here. And I think for practice problems, if you're looking for more material, then it's good. Um, so right now, you know, I, you know, if you're debating between this and the CIRM, it's, for me, it's still the CIRM, but this is the newcomer and it's still a really good book, um, in my own opinion. But what I'm really looking forward to is when they start releasing the PM reference manuals, because I think those will be really good for everybody studying for that. But it's still a good book. Go check it out. Like I said, uh, it's got a lot of positives to it. Um, my negatives are, are very few and in between, but I just wanted to get up a quick review of the book because I know people are starting to get interest in this as they see it as a resource uh, preparing for the PE exam. So hopefully this helped you out. If you have any questions about the book, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment and I will try to get to that or feel free to email me Isaac at Civil Engineering Academy. I'd love to uh, jump on and help you out. So hopefully this did help you out and we will uh, see you on the next one. Bye.